How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. It's been a long time and I'm finally here. I will finally try to make more videos when you guys want and what you guys want. I got the new PC. The specs are based. I can play everything with good quality and uh, made full made um, with with some more FPS, oh my god, I can't talk, I forgot English, unfortunately. I am now in Austria, and I learned, I learned the German language, and my English is fucked up. But, maybe with you guys, with YouTube, I will come once again, I will talk to English once again. I didn't do videos for one year or so and yeah so what's the theme for this this video I saw the Borderlands 3 got cracked and I was like hmm I searched a little bit well because Borderlands 3 Borderlands in general without friends it is a little bit boring you can't say it's not, it is boring without friends. So, I searched a little bit, and you remember when you can, in the past, you can't with Hamachi, Dangle, and so services play online LAN co op games? Yeah, well, I tried my best, and I made it. I succeeded to play with my friend, crack the vers version of Badlands with Hamachi. So, how do you do it? Well, let's keep steps. Step number one, download Hamachi. Step number two, download the same version of the game. So if you download from this torrent, send that torrent to your friend. He needs to download the same version that's the that's the most important thing I think step two open how much go network create new network or let your friend create new network it's it's the question which of which of you have the better internet connection and the fast PC that's 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 important so the one with the fast internet connection should create the network I create this network of this one so that's my friend right there but he's not actually online right now we just played and it's helpful as is try 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 3 30 a.m. so he is sleeping right now and I just want to make the video because I couldn't find any of the YouTube or anything in Google correspond to this game to Borderlands 3 Corp Cracked with Hamachi. So how do we do it? Step one, make make the network. Step two, click right click when you when your friend connects, we join an existing network. He needs to put the network ID on the password if you have one. Step three, right click and do diagnose. If it's okay, then it's good. You don't need to do that here. But go to summary and look here. Local results. That's you. Adapter configuration. What is adapter configuration? You need to go here. Open change adapter settings. If you have how much network here, lock me in how much to with an internet adapter, then it's good. I tried the same thing yesterday, I didn't have that uh, Hamachi adapter and our connection didn't work. Today I fixed that, I disabled, I, ha I had one uh, VPN adapter also, but that I think that was it, but that was not it. So I went to the device manager, I went to monitor uh, network adapters and I deleted and installed this VPN adapter. Then I ran, I ran 
the Hamachi Hamachi installation one more time, repaired it, and the Hamachi adapter had popped out, and that was good. Then that was okay. You need to have of both sides that of both sides. So you and your friend need to do that the same. You need to have the adapter, and when you click diagnose, it needs to be okay. Without that, it will not work. One more thing you can do with the Ditnoa for security or so go to details of your friend go to settings and you should make that the same so traffic go change allow all encryption disable and compression any do that so we did that too so you can close the how much down hello guys coming from the future here i forgot to tell in the video that you need to go to the settings we adopt the settings is right click on how much you go to properties select internet protocol version 4 click properties click advanced and check automatic metric and put interface metric to 10 click ok click ok click close exit um, that's it the next step is for both you can uh, in general, that's only for the guy who's the host in the game, but we did it both. Go to router settings. If you don't know how to see, uh, to your router settings, go to CMD, command prompt, and type IP config. I will put all I will put all the details in. I will put all details in. In description as well so you go to where the adapter is so Ethernet adapter Ethernet go and you need to find the full getaway that's that by you it will type maybe maybe something else or maybe the same but I don't think in the same maybe something else so you need to type that in your browser and then you need to log in with your password the password should be on your router or you can call your customer service and ask for the password when not then the password is by default password administrator admin or, or yeah i think that's it from the default passwords but you can you can ask in the in the center so you need to log in with your password Look with your password and you need to find somewhere where it says port forwarding or something like that. You need to go to other device for sharing. So the device, my device in this case is Pablo Gaming and you need to confirm that IPv4 I will I will mask that of mine of mine screen because you guys should not see my IP address. But if you want to know, you need to go to Ethernet adapter where you where you connected an IPv4 address to say so 192. Point, uh, point it was point something 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 and you need to find that here. But momentarily, I don't see it actually. Huh. Oh, because I added it here. Yeah. I added it, so that's mine. Oh, I can edit. That's mine yet. I will mask that. But you need to see your IPv4 address. Where you, what you see in uh, command prompt, it needs to stay here. Or you don't have that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But another thing you need to do, you need to open ports. How much you port? You need to open TCP and UDP. And the port is the same. It is 12975 for TCP and for UDP is 12975. It's the same. Then you need to open the Borderlands 3 port. You need to open the TCP port from uh, 3478 and 3479. 
So you, when you when that's it, port to the device 3475 through port 3479, and then do the two two of that. You need to go. You need to go to the UDP and make the same port be like that, and then click OK. I just um, messed something up, and you need to click OK. Then the ports are open. You need to save that, and you should see your ports. Uh, ports here. So another step is go to your firewall. You can go to your antivirus settings, or if you don't have any antivirus, you can go direct to Windows Defender settings, Windows Security, go to uh, Firewall Network Protection, turn on Firewall for domain network, turn on Firewall for pri private network, and turn on Firewall for public network. You you should do that only when you play the game because turning off firewall is not a good thing to to browse the web and everything so you need to go you can do also a lower app through firewall don't click change settings and allow another app and navigate where you install how much in Bortlands add add Bortlands 3xa um, type for private and public too find how much a client application so I will show you how to do that so go to the installations go with the borderlands select borderlands then go to your Hamachi Hamachi directory select the first one then the second one and make it also public and private too and that's about it for the firewall uh, we open the ports so we open the ports we set it up the networking Hamachi we disable the firewall and allow the app allow the borderlands on Hamachi uh, the fourth step is we check the other uh, we checked in Hamachi one more time diagnose and it says okay when it says okay then it's good so the step number, the last step, you need to open the game. I can't record the gameplay right now because my friend is sleeping and I can't record with Camtasia Studios the in-game in -game gameplay. That's the problem, but if you want, I can make one video of the game when we are playing together. Also, if you have the Fitka Repack or Oh, that's how, uh, that's for the codex version 2 go to installation of okay, game binaries win64 and double tap codex cine and change your game here oh and that's about it you can save the game but you need to you can and that's it you run the game you go there now in the game you need to go right click uh, you need to go in the right corner you need to click of the internet icon click the odd and select LAN play for the host hot then starts starts the games start the game and the friend wait in the main menu then you go into the game you wait a little bit then your friend should turn, uh, turn the LAN, uh, LAN connection 2 on. Then go to the social, go to LAN browser and he needs to see your game there. He needs to double click it and he's connected to you. So that's about it. I will, I will put everything in the description too. So if you need something, if you need help, uh, feel free to comment down below. I will try to answer all the comments. I didn't see videos of the YouTube of the YouTube for for this game, but I hope I helped uh, helped you guys. I really wanted to play Borderlands 3 with friends, but I couldn't buy it. And I'm happy that I found this method, and I hope you guys ho I hope it works for you too. So that's about it. See you in the next one and peace out.